List is a collection of different objects similar to array in other programming languages. List are defined in Python by enclosing a comma separated sequence of object in a square bracket. The element of a list can all be the same type like list underscore array variable has only string data type as an element. List underscore B variable has only integer data type as an element and list underscore C variable has only float data type as an element. It can have elements with different data types such as list underscore D variable which has combination of string, float, integer and boolean data type. List can also contain complex objects like function module and classes. To add math module as an element in list underscore E variable you have to first import math module. Similarly, you have to first define the test underscore func method to use it into list underscore e variable. You can use false, sorted, and float method without any imports or defining of function. Individual element in a list can be accessed using an index in a square bracket. This is similar to accessing individual characters in a string. List indexing is a zero based. Consider a list list T with the four element having an index from zero to three. To access any elements in a list A variable, you have to use list T bracket and then index. If you put index one, then it will fetch the second element of a list E. Similarly, if you want an element at the end of the list, then use list E and give the index 3. You can also access your list element using negative indexes. Last element of the list A variable will be assigned with minus 1 and the first element will be assigned with minus 4. If you want to fetch any element using the negative index, then pass those negative index in square bracket. Minus 2 will fetch the third element and minus 4 will fetch the first element. If you want to fetch more than one element from the list A variable, then you can use the slicing method and it can be represented by the square bracket and star and semicolon and end index. Here, if you pass list E square bracket 1 semicolon 3, then it will give you the element from index 1 and 2 and 3 is excluded. Slicing method will return the new list whereas if you fetch the single element like 20.3 from the list variable then it will return the 20.3 with the float data type and it will not return the new list but slicing method will return the new list you can also use the negative indexes in the slicing method pass minus 3 semicolon minus 1 to return the value from index minus 3 and minus 2 the list return with the negative indexes and the positive index are same. That's why it will return the true if you compare both of the list. Always remember the first index will always be smaller than the second index otherwise it will return nothing. Sometimes you want to skip any element from the list. So if you want to skip element 20.3 from the list t then you can use this right 0 semicolon 3 semicolon 2 the 2 at the end is known as right and if you use that then it will skip the element 20.3 and it will return the element from the index 0 and 2 only if you pass the negative first right then it will first go to the index 3 that is false and then it will go to the index 1 and skip the true element that is 6 and it will finally return the false and 20.3.
If you want to reverse the whole string, then you can use semicolon semicolon minus one in the square bracket and then it will fetch the element from three to zero. With this, I am ending this video. Please click on like button if you like this video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.